Now then, when you order a takeaway, lots of us tend to feel a little bit guilty afterwards, but Gok says he's found a solution. Uh, so he's in the kitchen with uh, a healthy takeaway alternative for us. Gum. Right there. So we are making giant spring rolls, three I've made already, yeah. and a chicken and sweet corn soup. So this just takes me back to working in Mum and Dad's restaurant as a kid. We'd serve thousands of these of these dishes every single year and they're super super simple so we're going to start with the spring rolls first so i've got here the spring roll filling you do it in two different stages i've fried off some spring onions some carrots some garlic and some water chestnuts and that's in this pan it's all sauteed for about six seven minutes and now i'm going to add in a load of uh <laughs> <laughs> bean sprouts into that and you're basically just going to let mm. that sit and sweat for about 10 minutes we're going to add in some tiny seasoning 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 uh, we're going to put in some oyster sauce we are going to put in some soy sauce and we are going to put in some fish sauce now if you want to do this vegetarian just knock out the fish stuff absolutely fine yep. um we would normally put in either minced pork or minced chicken or prawns but this is a it's the a vegetable version it's a good base exactly so that all fries down once mm. that's then all fried down you get this really? you let really it's so good. good isn't it you let it go cold and then you squeeze out the juice in the sink using your hands obviously washing them first because you don't want to put wet product into your um Pancakes. So basically, these are our skins for our gorgeous spring rolls. And you can buy them from Chinese supermarkets or get them online. And what you do is you separate them. And I'm going to use two. So that's a specific roll. thing of the spring yeah, rolls. Yeah, like a phyllo pastry, yeah, basically. Right, yeah. um, so I'm going to use two. And this is how you make them. Really simple. You get your mixture. You put it in the centre like that. And I'm making giant ones because when we worked in the restaurant, Wednesday or Thursday, I think, was our spring roll day. All of us would be in the kitchen making the spring rolls for the customers uh. for the weekend. And so we'd be there, all of us on the big table. And um, as we were doing it, we'd be serving out these tiny little kind of little finger-sized spring rolls to our customers. And we'd all be making these massive giant ones for so us to eat. So you tucked, you tucked oh, the ends sorry, yes. in? OK, so well done. How many, how many... Uh, two have skins. You got? Two skins. Two skins. You, you put your mixture in the centre. You roll over to the centre like that. You then fold over like this. You then fold over like that to create your spring roll. And you literally roll like that. And then getting some water, you're just going to get the tail. And you can't use phyllo pastry. You have to use this You can specific... use phyllo pastry, but this does taste different. It, so there I'm is gonna something. Say, it's not the I'm going to say go for this one. And that's basically as easy as that. Wow. You put it onto a rack. Now, I'm baking mine because, you know, I run now, a bit healthier. And so, instead of Are deep frying, a I'm a runner. I'm, ru I'm going to run to the oven. You're amazing. Um, so what I've done is I've used two skins because we want to get it nice and crispy. I put a little bit of oil on top just to crisp them up. You're going to whack them in the oven. 200 fan for about, I'd say, about 15 minutes. And you basically get this gorgeous product that you are eating just there. And they are so delicious. I don't think they compromise on the flavour. Well, they're so they're crispy. And, and uh, so in the restaurant, you would fry them, would you? We would fry, deep fry them, because it's just much easier. Just... But I do them like this at home. But the thing they is lose that some of the colour, like but they're you great. You, do you don't feel cheated? No. no not at all. Not I in don't the think fighting. so. Right, so onto our soup. So in here, I have got some chicken stock. I'm going to add in some creamed corn. OK, now, use the creamed corn. Don't use just plain corn. If you are going to use plain corn, then what you will need to do is you'll need to put it into a blender just to separate the uh, kernels. But you could buy it in a tin like that, can't you? Exactly. Yeah. Really easy. I've got here some poached chicken. I actually poached this chicken in this stock, added some more water afterwards, and that's become our soup base. So we're going to add some chicken. And is it chicken, chicken, chicken breast or chicken Chicken breast, chicken. chicken thigh. Leftover. This is a great Monday dinner after a Sunday roast when you've got your carcass left. Boil up the carcass. Use all the brown meats that you wouldn't eat on the Christmas, um, Christmas <coughs> day, <coughs> on Sunday. Right, you're going to whack that in just there like that. Then you are going to add in your seasoning, which is basically some soy sauce. And you're <coughs> going to add in some sesame oil. And you're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Now, once you've done that, you are going to have this gorgeous soup just here. And all of that corn releases oh and it makes God. it quite milky and beautiful. Then we're going to take here some corn flour and water mm. and we're going to thicken up our soup. How is that soup tasting? Oh, uh, so yeah. lovely. So lovely. It's so good, isn't it? It's so good and, and it's so super easy. healthy. So, this, is, this is such a good lunch. I mean, I'm a runner now, have I mentioned? <laughs> and so this is a great runner's lunch, I would say. So all so, you need to have is that creamed corn. If you haven't, you've just got a tin of sweet corn. Can you whack, whack it, it in up? a blender? It's whack fine. it in a blender. It's not exactly the same, but it's a close second, mm -hmm. all right? Um, right, so what we're going to do is then we're going to add in our corn flour. We're going to stir it through and we're going to thicken it. Now, you take it as thick as you want. I actually like my soups very thick, um, but you take it as thick as you want. And this is an instant. Just happens straight away. Right, we're in. 
and look at that now. Also, the cornflower adds a gloss mm. to that soup as well, which is so beautiful. Then, once you've done that, whisked, wi whished, whisked egg. I can't say that. Whisked. 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 You're saying Whished. Whisked. Whisked. Okay. No, that's, uh, okay. that's Scottish. Mashed up egg. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dribble this into our soup as like it's boiling. Like you would do with egg fried rice. Like, uh, well, you cook the egg fried rice first before the rice. Oh. So this one, what we're doing is we are going to then do this a little bit and then stir. And that's when you get that beautiful egg that floats oh, to the top. Oh, that's what that is. Yes, I didn't even know what that egg. was. Isn't it incredible? And it's such a beautiful effect in your bowl of soup. So then you do that, you put as much egg in as you want. And that basically is as simple as it is. It's just 10 minutes of simmering Did you up. say that was just egg yolks? That's, no, that's just whisked up. That's whi I said it that time. Whisked up uh, whole eggs, two of them. Mm -hmm. okay. So then we are now going to serve and... The soup's incredible. Isn't it incredible? Yeah. It might be one of the best things you've cooked yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is one of the best things, cos this is proper, hearty Asian food. This reminds me so much of my family. Well, last time you made a soup, it was the noodle soup, which was amazing, and I cook it at least two yeah. times a week, like, not even joking. So this, this can be... Do you know what? And you should definitely give this one a go. I add some chicken on top. If I've got guests coming over, um, and then I add some spring onions, and then I add in a little bit more sesame oil on top. Mm. And then I get one of these gorgeous giant spring rolls. Slice it in half like that. And I serve it like that for my guests. And it really genuinely is such a simple dish, packed full of flavour, guilt-free, which means I'm going to have my 14th spring roll of today. Because I've been cooking... Can I've been you eating dip these in, in the anything? Sorry? Like, what would you dip these in? Sweet chilli sauce, if you want to. Sweet chilli. Sweet and sour sauce is really good. Yeah. Or hoisin. I like mine with hoisin as well. Mm. There you go. Dead easy. Right. Fake away. And also, you, know, you can um, run home. I can, well, I'm going to run home. And yeah. Then, yeah, I'm going to just keep on running. Because you save us the money for the car <laughs> and uh, also work off the spring rolls. It's so tight. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Enjoy. absolutely God, that is delicious. Absolutely thank you. Oh, thanks, very, Mum and Dad, thank for teaching so me how much. to make this. Yeah. I love you very much. For the rest of your details, take a look at the This Morning app.